What's up, YouTube? You know what it is. Um, it's Hood Tech. Today I'm gonna talk about why I think you should carry around in the chamber. Um, so first I want you to get in get in the mind state real quick and think about a time where you got hurt badly or somebody else got hurt badly through the violence, right? How much time did you have to react to that? Because most people that's been in bad situations will tell you it's good and then it ain't good. And life could change in a blink of an eye. We all know that. We all got stories. We all been through shit. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much racking one in the chamber is just one more thing that you have to do. If you And if you're pulling your gun to rack a cham into the chamber in the first place, you're probably about to have to use it and if you're about to have to use it your life's most likely in danger um so why would you want to have to sit there evaluate that of course with proper training and, and muscle memory these things become easier but the point still stands i want one less as many things that i don't have to do when my life is in danger i just want to focus on what i have to do this guy's trying to hurt me he's trying to kill me or something bang that's it. I don't want to, I don't even, I don't even prefer safeties. You know, as long as you have a proper holster and that trigger is protected at all times, the gun will not go off. This is your safety right here. But that's another, that's for another, uh, we'll save that for another video. Well, I can give you another example. Say you're walking home with the groceries. I typically carry my groceries in my left hand and keep my right hand free this way. You know, obvious. But look what I don't have to do. Try to drop my groceries and rack around in the chamber and John with the motherfucker. You know what I mean? No, it's just I want to be able to pull it out. I don't, And then I could drop my groceries and think about that. See, see the difference? You're thinking about, oh, I have to drop my groceries. Now I have to rack the gun. Now I'm ready. No. I don't even have to think about dropping my groceries because I'm already ready. And now I'm, my, when my brain processes that, signs <laughs> but uh now nah, all jokes aside all jokes aside um that's a serious thing you know you could be carrying a kid too you know you're maybe gonna put the kid down you could be drawn from the holster and while you're putting the kid down but you don't have to worry about racking around now imagine you having to, you're putting the kid down and you have to rack around and i'm gonna say this i don't want anybody to get offended you know what i mean this is just what it is if you're not comfortable carrying around in the, in the chamber, it's due to lack of training or practice. You need to go to the range. You need to carry. You need to get yourself comfortable with that. Because the only way you're going to be comfortable carrying around in the chamber is if you start doing it. Even when I started carrying, you know, years ago, I, I wouldn't have one in the chamber. You know what I mean? I, I admit it was because lack of training, lack of practice. But now I'm at the point where my guns are always chambered. You know, and well, at least the ones that I, I might have to use. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got.